Hey, Leo, Mariah here. It's such a pleasure, honor, and a privilege to be speaking to you. Hopefully you're good, hopefully you're okay. Hopefully a new year has been treating you pretty well. So let's hop into your reading. Let's see what's going on. And let's see what is coming towards you, right? <clears throat> what's coming towards you for the rest of January and onwards. So for my Leo spirit, let me know what is coming towards them. Thank you. We got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. The moon in the reverse. Seven of Cups. Ten of Cups. Why is this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? The Six of Cups. I heard something about a transmission. Make sure your car is okay, Leo. First and foremost, just make sure your car is okay. If you're having any car issues or just some form of mechanical issues, make sure you get it checked up on. There may be a car that you've had around for some time. <laughs> this is a super side measure. There may have been a car you had around for some time that may be dealing with some issues or some upcoming car troubles may be pending. So make sure you're not like delaying on things, even if it's the matter of like getting your tags, uh, registering your car, making sure your insurance is up to date, making sure your ID is up to date. Please, there's something around that, that just don't be out here driving dirty in whatever sense. <laughs> Whatever since, just don't be out here driving dirty. Um, and then also too, somebody's longing. Somebody's longing to speak to you. Somebody you haven't spoken to in a quite some time. This feels like somebody you're really good with. Like maybe an old friend, an old companion, somebody that you went to maybe school with or you had, you guys worked in the same field or in the same industry at some point. It's like, this is somebody they're wondering how you're doing it. There's degrees of separation. So you two may be, you know, in different, I don't want to say continents. That's the first thing that came to my mind, but you two may be living in different states, different cities, or you two may just have your own lives going on where you two can't actively deal with each other. It's just how we are. When we get older, we just start to focus on our own inner world. But somebody that you've known for some time is like really wanting to talk to you, really wanting to talk to you. Tell me more. Yeah, three of wands. Yeah, somebody, you haven't talked to this person in a minute, Leo. Why is the three of wands here? Let's see. The sun. Yeah, somebody's missing you. This, it, this, I don't know whom this is for you, but it's like you got history with this person. It feels more platonic than it does romantic, I'm just being honest. But it's like somebody you went to school with, maybe somebody you worked with, somebody that you had a friendship with. They're missing you, even at their distance. And it's not like they're longing or crying, like, oh, Leo, but it's, you pop up in their mind from time to time and in sense of a consideration, like, I hope Leo's okay, or I wonder what Leo's up to. What else does my Leos need to know? What else does my Leos need to know as far as what's coming their way? We got the Seven of Swords. We got the King of Pentacles. We got the High Priestess in the reverse. We got the six of wands in the reverse. What is it? What does the saying go? If it's if it seems too good to be true, it is. That's exactly what this reminds me of. When you got the seven of swords, king of pentacles, high priestess in the reverse, and the six of wands in the reverse. Something's too good to be true, Leo. You may end up meeting somebody, whether it's through work, whether it's through, you know, acquaintances, or whether there's some new venture, some business. Because this come this is coming down to like your work, your business, your finances. There may be some new venture that you're wanting to move into and you can really see yourself being prominent in that position, whether it's starting a new business, maybe it's starting a new position at work. Um, just be cautious of information that people may tell you. I know some people may want to give you good advice or may have some good insight on things and it may seem really believable because of how they express or articulate themselves. It's like they know the jargon, they know how to pronounce, uh, not pronounce, but they know how to present information that seems very um, digestible and you think that they know what they're talking about, but this is somebody, it's like the, the magic hand switch, right? Where they tell you one thing, but it's really something else. Just be cautious of advice that you take. Always go to your intuition first. And especially if you are hearing advice from people, whether it's a friend, family, relative, somebody that you know, and they may seem like they have good intentions. If your intuition by any means necessary says, hey, Leo, you might want to double think about, double think, 
<laughs> you might want to do a double take on that. You may want to review the information that they're telling you. You may want to check another source, ask two or three sources if you got to, or search two or three other sources if you have to. Please do so because somebody doesn't have really good intentions for you. I don't know if this is to spite you because they're envious of knowing where you're getting ready to go. Somebody can see your potential and the greatness that you're getting ready to walk into. And because of that, they're trying to cut off, cut off your feet before you even get a chance to fly. Or this could be somebody who does not want to see you win or does not have the best intentions. And because they may be miserable or because things didn't happen right for them, they don't want things to happen right for you. Just misery attracts misery, you know. Be cautious, be cautious. Not everybody who wants to be of help or be of service or to be there for you is truthfully there for you. And I think you know this, but definitely don't ignore your intuition. If your gut is telling you to move forward, listen to your gut first. I don't know whom that is, but don't, don't, don't really go based off them first. So what else does my Leos need to know in regards to what's coming towards them? This five of swords, strength, 10 of swords, hangman in the reverse. I like it in the hierophant. I'm hearing the, um, oh my God, it's the old song. It's by Florence and the Machine. This is like back in 2000 and like what, 12, 11. Um, it's called Dog Days Are Over. And that's what this reminds me of, Leo. It's like if you felt down and out about something, that period of being down and out, even though in the moment it may have felt, or in those moments it may have felt excruciating, it may have felt like you've been in that phase or in that stage forever, but in that period of feeling down and out, what was happening was a mental paradigm shift. You won't be able to tell it in the moment, but once you come through it, which you're getting ready to come through it, if you haven't came out of it already, it's like you're going to be seeing things differently. You're going to be seeing people clearly. And there's this sense in regards to your own personal temperament. What's worth arguing about? What's worth getting riled up about? What's worth getting your energy into and what's not? And through this experience of feeling down and out, you're coming out of that period like, you know what? Now looking at it, after having time to myself or after feeling a low that I felt that maybe to some degree I didn't know if I was going to recover from, Certain things in my life are not worth giving my energy to. Certain things in my life are not worth arguing about, not worth being petty on. Certain things are just not worth hitting below the belt. Certain things are just worth tempering my emotion and tempering my anger or tempering my temperament and just walking away. And you're really setting strong, like you're standing strong on that due to this paradigm shift that you're having because of that period of solitude or that period of feeling really at a low. You don't want to feel that again and giving your energy into people, circumstances or situations that make you feel that way. It's just not worth your energy anymore. So you're coming out of a phase where it's like, no more. I'm not dealing with that. I don't want to go through that. I am done. Let's see. Let's get a couple more cards here. Hopefully you don't mind this style of seeing what come next, you know, just kind of as like freestyle predictive shooting of, of the messages. I kind of like it. It's just interesting to see what, what comes through in different ways. And hopefully I can reach more of you guys, you know. So tell me, Spirit, we have the Four of Pentacles. I'm hearing um, lemons. Isn't there like a lemon, lemon, lemon cello? Lemon cello? Oh, God, I'm sorry. I can't, can't even think of the name. But I'm hearing lemons, and I'm thinking of a lemon tree. So I don't know if somebody is from Italy likes Italian food or maybe because typically that's where you'll see a lot of lemon trees is over in Italy. Um, I think it's Southern Italy to be exact. Could be wrong. Don't, you know, I'm, don't judge. I don't know. Um, or somebody could be using lemon and like their cleaning products. Okay. So we got the four of Pentacles, the hermit in the reverse, the tower, the eight of Pentacles. this could go one or two ways, Leah. I want to see how does this eight of pentacles turn out? Let's see. The hair of five. Okay. Two ways to put this. And this falls into two different groups. One group, this comes through as something that you've been really working long and hard on and you may have like almost put yourself into isolation to work on this or you kept it really a secret so like i'm thinking of like 
your special baby, this project, this idea, this business, or something that you're trying to do kind of in incognito, that's your baby. And it's like due to working so hard and so hard and being committed to this day in and day out and day in and day out with the tower here, it's like your life's getting ready to change for some good. And for some, it may not be so good. It may not be so comfortable. Um, cause the tower is not a comfortable energy. I don't care how you put it, right? It's our, it's, it's something that comes in and that comes at us at an impactful force, not the most comfortable element. But what I do mean when I say this is something that will really change your life more so in catapulting your life is through the hard work and effort and because you stay committed, because you stay disciplined, because you stayed on top of something, because you didn't give up, because you were determined to see something through, you are going to reap the rewards of that, whatever it is that you've been holding secret and really working on. However, in return of getting that, there's something you're going to have to give with that tower. Something's going to have to come crashing down. So let's say, for example, you, this is something in regards to work and you're used to working maybe eight hours. Now, once this business project takes off, you're going to have to now sacrifice being able to utilize the rest of the hours in the day. And now you're going to have to start working 16 hours because of customer influx, order influx, product influx. You know, it's like now you're going to have to sacrifice some of those hours that you got of leisure to now put more towards the business. Or if I was to put in a different example, um, say you've been doing a lot of work on yourself in secret and trying to better yourself and be a better person or a better version for yourself. And it's like, you're doing this not only for yourself, but to get a certain outcome out of life, whether it's to feel more fulfilled, feel more grateful or gratitude or feeling gratitude, being able to attract people that's going to be beneficial in your life. And due to this process, the people or the circumstances or environments that you were around prior will have to go. And it may not be the most comfortable. They may start to feel like you've changed or you've become a different person or you don't act like the old Leo you used to act like. And hey, that's true. You have changed. But what it allows, though, in return is for you to attract and actually receive the people that are beneficial for you, even though other people are not going to like it. And they may have some pushback in regards to your new change. That's how this comes across as. So whether it's in work, whether it's in your personal life, just two, two examples, you are going through that massive shift that's coming up. But it may be a little uncomfortable to let go of some of the older people. One last thing overall for my Leo spirit. Let's see here. So we got the three of cups in the reverse, the page of swords in the reverse, and last one, the ace of swords in the reverse. Three of swords in the reverse. There's somebody in your, there's somebody in your corner, Leo. Um, And I, I think a lot of you may know this, that there's somebody around you that you really can't trust. And it's a, it's weird cause you can't really put your finger on it. It's like, you can look at certain things that allow you to understand why you can't trust them, but to fully digest it, there's something, you know, how some people have weird energy and it's like, yeah, I don't like being around them. There's something about, about somebody that is around your energy. Um, whether it's a friend, maybe an old friend, a colleague, coworker, somebody that you just don't really, you don't trust them. You, you just don't trust them. And you wouldn't be wrong in that. You wouldn't be wrong in that sentiment. Just check around the people that you have in your life. Cause there's a person that can cause more harm than good. Even if it's not done intentionally, they may just bring you down or drag you down because they're low vibrational or they're not doing much with their life or they're not on their right path or they're not getting their shit together. And you may feel like you have to be the one to kind of pull them along or you may feel like you have to be the one that has to be the role model or set an example. But nonetheless, this is not somebody that's going to get to your level. This is somebody that is content with staying where they are and that's only going to bring you down. So you already have some inkling for most of you. You already have some inkling who this is. And sometimes we tend to stay on and hold on to our friendships just because of comfortability, because of the history. It's kind of hard to let go. It's hard to detach. This may be somebody you're going to have to detach from, especially if you are growing and you're evolving and you can see that you're changing in comparison to them. They're only going to be dead weight. They're only going to be dead weight for you, Leo. So it's better, especially if I'm looking at different changes going on here in your life, let go of the dead weight and don't take it forward with you. So 
I'm going to let this go here. Leo, it's been a pleasure to read for you. I'm so grateful and thankful as always. Happy New Year. Hopefully all y'all are doing good. If you made it this far, thank you so much for being a part of the channel. It means a lot. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.